Hello guys, this is Abhijit, uh, aka Silver Fox. Hey. I'm a developer and an entrepreneur. Uh, I run a web agency and few other stuffs. So I started my career as a freelancer and which is why I want to contribute something back to the freelancing community or as the developer community. Uh, that's the starting of this uh, Silver Fox tutorials program or as the YouTube channel. In this video, I intend to share with you guys how you can set up Cloudflare with your droplet that is DigitalOcean droplet and how you can configure your DNS uh, so I used GoDaddy for that matter I'm assuming you have a DigitalOcean droplet or also web server uh, which is linked to your DNS records now let's open up Cloudflare and what is Cloudflare It's a content delivery network so it ensures that your file or whatever the static files you have within your portal or the website uh, gets instantly uh, delivered to a certain area like it has lots of uh, data center in multiple locations so let's say I have hosted my website on Bangalore and some client or the user accessing it from some other part of the country or also some other uh, countries right this data static data will uh, basically host on that particular region's content and it directly it need not directly come to Bangalore server to get the data rather it can get it from that particular data center nearby in case if you don't have an account just register it's a two-step process just really simple and easy once you are here you can just log in and this will show you a list of uh, domains or websites that you have hosted the best part is they have free tire uh, subscription which is or uh, you can uh, host any number of websites under a free trial and that's good for people who just want to try it out for some time and see if it works or not plus uh, so for some certain set of people who just uh, want to host a small website let's add a new website you can see the add site on top here uh, you want to add the website that uh, you basically need to connect to the Cloudflare network Okay, let's log in to GoDaddy. And let's make sure I can see. Okay, so I'll be using laravis.com. This is linked to DigitalOcean Droplet. These are the name servers that connects to DigitalOcean. Okay, let's just log into DigitalOcean and we'll navigate to networking section. In case if you want to know how to host a website or on DigitalOcean Droplet, I have few other videos. Uh, I'll just put those link in the description so you can just check those out. Okay, this is the domain DNS record settings, and here you can see the A record and the subdomain okay this site is live and we are using digital ocean for that purpose so you get to see it's working right the hello world message okay I'll go to now we have to change our dns configuration from godaddy okay let's just type in the url <coughs> that's right Okay, it will scrap uh, all the DNS records, existing DNS record. Uh, okay, let's select one. Let's go with free tire. Okay, so it's scrapping all the DNS records that's, that are existing currently. Now it might not scrap all of it, so you have to enter it manually in case if it doesn't. Right? So it's uh, showing us only one A record. So we need the other one, which is our subdomain. So that is lms.laravis.com. So we have to create a, a record. It starts with LMS. That's a, that's a subdomain. Um, and we'll copy the IP. That would be LMS only. Add the record. So lms.laravis.com is redirecting to also referring to this particular. IP uh, there is a droplet okay and we are creating a CNAME record for your laravis.com that's, that's the root 
okay that we can do and we need one for LMS so uh, this basically doing uh, you can access uh, laravis.com using www.laravis.com okay that being done and just continue so it will tell you that these are the set of uh, NS records that you have you need to change it to this set of NS records so that will redirect from whatever it is currently linked with to Cloudflare's network now once you're within the Cloudflare's network it will manage all your ma uh, name server records all your DNS records everything uh, including few other set of extra functionalities that they will provide you okay let's change our name server from GoDaddy instead of redirecting it to digital ocean we'll redirect it to cloudflare okay so once you're done save it might take uh, some 12 to 24 hours to reflect you can use tor browser to see the content reflected instantly okay so here is saying it will take some time it says dns modification pending because it's not able to uh, get the updated record so you just give a recheck and then that will try to see if it always give it a minute or two so that it can um, show you whether it uh, got redirected or not okay or else updated the name server record Okay, meanwhile, I will just I'll just show you guys few other set of settings that you can use. This is the DNS management. Now you have SSL. So Cloudflare give you um custom SSL, right? That's for free. Uh, it, 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 you you can generate it here and then save it to your um uh, web server. Okay, so that then you can use HTTPS. I'll I'll make a separate video on this on how you can do that. So you have to so it says it's not yet linked right it needs to be active okay we'll come back to this later okay here you can uh, use history instead of using history yes uh, history access uh, what you can do is you can tell from here that you have to navigate to uh, SSL connection and you can configure the modern TLS and all that so it can you can also configure what sort of security level you want so in case if it's accessing from some bad browser it will give all uh, the checker and uh, minify content so it will minify all the HTT, html js and css enable for mobile uh, like it will accelerate mobile links okay let's forget this subdomains and you need to ensure that rocket loader is enabled because it ensures that all the JS loads up first faster and in case if you want to redirect uh, when someone is accessing from mobile so you can redirect to a particular subdomain that's for the speed and then caching you have or what you can do is in case if you have a complete static website you can say it like uh, cache it cache every single thing or you go for standard in case if you have a dynamic website because the data needs to change Okay, always online. What it does is, even if your site goes down, it Cloudflare will show you the cached version of it. The page rule matters a lot. Like that's that's the important part of it. So using this, you can configure what uh, like in case if you want a wildcard entry, like this for an example, it uh, takes that subdomains plus all other links associated with Arabic.com will access this set of rules that I specify here. You can specify almost everything, including from cache level to uh, SSL and redirection, every single thing. Yeah, cache everything. So you can just check out few other set of configs that you have and uh, configure based on your set of requirements. I'll just give you a dummy um, settings now to just test it out. Okay. I'll just give it a high. Rocket loader will set it to automatic. And I guess we are good. I'll just save and deploy.
now you you will make the page rules based on your set of requirement okay let's just check once more whether it has been reflected or not okay still not yep so there's few other set of settings that i wanted to show you okay here you can put it under development mode all attack mode and that one setting would do like it will pause cloudflare network so it will directly access your uh, droplet and it won't use cloudflare's features yeah i'll just refresh so everything works smooth as it was but for a dynamic website uh, it, it would be way more faster because it would cache a lot of stuff in your browser plus uh, it will use the cdn network to transfer the static files even faster than uh, usual if you found the video or uh, video content informative and helpful enough uh, please do subscribe my channel like and share the videos whichever you prefer the most uh, so that that will encourage me to uh, make more videos on these sort of uh, topics